Hey guys, Austin here. Today is going to be the episode that includes the one week anniversary of Plays Island. Right now is day seven and tomorrow's day eight, which I'm very excited for. And I decided I was going to spend a little bit of time and just visit some people's islands that I haven't been to before and sell off my local fruit. And I also used this time to borrow a few tickets from a friend since my Nook terminal was down because we're upgrading resident services and tomorrow it's going to be open. Now earlier in the day, Sprinkle, my resident penguin, was talking to me and talking about shooting stars and then at nighttime after 7pm, Celeste shows up for me. And she told me tonight there's going to be a meteor shower and she gave me the recipe for a magic wand. The magic wand supposedly changes my clothing to like presets, which is neat. Almost right after I talked to Celeste, I saw 30 shooting stars in a matter of six minutes, which was enough for the level two of the Nook Miles achievement. And then last night was the Pokemon Raid Den update, so I just left the game running with a turbo controller holding down A while looking up, and I come back two hours later and I'm stuck in a conversation loop with my bear, and I'm at 197. So I just face my camera up again and boom, up to 200. That was an easy 2,800 nook miles. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna be able to find those on the beach and I don't know the limit as to how many that can spawn, but I seriously doubt there will be 200. Now that we are blessed with a meteor shower, the question is, will we be blessed with a good tour island? Ah, uh, it's my nice peaceful lake from yesterday. No matter the time of day when you go to one of these islands, it will lock the spawn tables for bugs and fish to that time. So in theory, you can come here at 7 p.m., put your switch in a sleep mode, and then wake it up the next day at noon and you'll still find tarantulas and scorpions. Scorpions for southern, tarantulas for north. Don't know if that's true, gonna have to look into that. Now on to island number two, and we have a rare fruit island. This is two, two days in a row, and that's that's pretty lucky. And honestly, I have so many peach trees already that I'm just going to, to gather all these peaches and sell them. I reached out on Twitter, and a lot of people said that they found the exact same results, that if you have one type of fruit, you'll have a rare chance at finding a second type of fruit, but never a third, fourth, or fifth type of fruit. So you're just pretty much locked to the one that you start at the beginning of the game. If your mom sends you a present as soon as you start with a rare fruit, and then your rare fruit island. So it's mandatory to trade with people in order to get different fruit. But off to island three for the night, and this is the exact same small river and pond island as last night. Neat. I just broke two stones and I was on my way. Fourth island, it's bamboo. I just gathered a few things and I bounced. And then our fifth island is the exact same one we were just at. Well, tonight has been pretty lackluster, but tomorrow, oh boy, do we have a lot going on tomorrow. Good morning, gamers. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. First things first, we just had the Nintendo Direct that told us about the April 1st egg event that's going to be going on, which is fantastic. My resident center is upgraded. We have Mab Mabel or Abel, whatever her name is, she's back, and I already spent 5,000 bells with her, so we might be able to set up her shop today. In addition to that, the version 1.1.1 patch is now out. And I think all it does is remove the item duping exploit, which Again, we're not doing game-breaking exploits like that, so for me, it's no problem to update my game. This also may include the April 1st event. I don't know if it's going to be put into the game for, you know, people who time skip, or if it's going to be server-based. I think server-based would definitely be the, um, the, the better move there so everyone's at the same time. Kind of like, you know, the raid dens in Pokemon. But I think that's all of the patch notes for Animal Crossing. 1.1.1. Ah, uh, we have so many things to do today. In addition, we did, you know, 200 plus wishes. I had people over my island to get more miles and achievements and everything. And I think the next uh, big thing is that we need to beautify the island, which I'm already working toward doing. In addition, I was reading over comments from yesterday's video, 
And people were saying you can buy the recipe for fences and then you can craft them yourself, which is amazing. When I visited other islands, I tried using the Nook terminal and apparently you can't do that. So someone let me borrow some tickets. I need to repay them some tickets. <laughs> Tommy boy. I'm sure you can all guess what I'm going to tell you next. It's the big announcement. As stated in a previous broadcast, we've completely constructed the resident services building. But that's not all the big news for today. We've also added someone to our island staff. Is it Isabel? It's Isabel! Also again, full disclosure, first Animal Crossing game. I know nothing about the G Isabel except she's in Super Smash Brothers. Also, I do know that your Beta 58 should not be left out in the rain like that. Not only can you damage the head of the microphone, but the aluminum and the other metal parts in there can, it, it doesn't like moisture, trust me. Normally the plaza is for residents and visiting peddlers who take advantage of this prime location, but keep an eye out for the occasional seasonal events too. Should be such fun for everyone. Well, I believe that wraps up all the announcements for today. Oh, one final thing. Starting tomorrow, Isabel will be your new source for island news. Oh, so Tom has given up even more of his responsibilities. Okay. I don't know what the ceremonies do. Is there a point to attending the ceremonies like at all? Please let me know in the comment section, or is it just like a fun little photo op? Also, I've received an absurd number of people who have asked me in regard to how I have so many miles. And what I like to do is I'll look at everything that I don't have completed. So right, right here, 466 of 500 fish. That means that all I need to do is catch 34 fish and boom, I'm awarded probably 500 or a thousand miles. And I'll go through here and all the things that seem very easy to do, 60 more bugs, make 13 more things at the DIY bench. Like I'm definitely gonna be able to do these things. Not so much make 700 more tools or 800 more furniture, but like, hey, customize 15 things of furniture, super easy. My trick for customizing furniture, cause I have so much hardwood is just to make a log and then paint it birch or whatever else. And I think I'm eventually gonna lay these out on the island to beautify it a little bit. We'll see how well that works out. Let's just grab my money because I don't trust the banks because the banks were shut down yesterday. And let's head over to resident services. Also, we have mail, Nook Incorporated. To celebrate the opening of resident services building, we have lots of new mile redemption items available. Plus we have a new service for Nook Miles Plus members earning five times more miles. Oh, look at that. Some of the things, so I, I, I don't know what generates it being times two, but now we have some things that are times five, and that's pretty awesome. First, I'm gonna talk to you. Someone in the comment section said to buy one more item from her, cause I already bought 5,000. Oh my God, I love this Explorer tea, I'm buying it. To buy something from her and then speak to her. Okay, it looks like we have to wait until the third time that she's here to do that. Got it. Our money tree grew. That's exciting. What's the hot item of the day? A wooden bucket. Wood and iron. Well, I have a lot of both of those things. Nice. Austin, stop getting distracted. Resident services. I like how you open it with both doors. Like, like you're, you're flying in like, what up, I'm here. Hey there, Tommy boy. You got a real desk now instead of you just standing around. Did I say tent? Of course, I meant building. Oh yeah, you've been in a tent. I've had a house for a while now. First things first, let's head over to our ATM machine. We're sorry that the Nook stop was unavailable all day yesterday due to construction of resident services. To make up for that, we're giving any customers who access the Nook shop today 500 miles. Also, regardless of your access history, your daily access bonus will be set at seven plus days tomorrow. We'll hope you continue using- Ah, oh, that is solid. That is, I mean, it wasn't like a huge concern of mine. I wasn't like, oh my God, am I gonna, you know, lose out on this few bonus miles? But still knowing that like they took care of you, that's so great, so great of them. Tommy, let's talk. We gotta talk business here. I can now order replacement doors for customizing. Nice. There are lots of little fun projects that will make the island a more comfortable place to live. I can help with building bridges or inclines, such as ramps or stairs, or even move existing buildings. So boom, there you go. You wanna know how to move buildings? There you go. Let's talk infrastructure. About bridges and inclines. Everyone who lives on the island can freely contribute toward the construction fees. I think that's if you have like a player two and so on and so forth like that. There's a natural ramp, a blue plank ramp, white, Log staircase, ooh, that is classy. 
Oh, that stone staircase, though. The brick one is just as nice. I'm not crazy about the steel ones, to be honest. But that stone staircase, that's where it's at. Do I need to pay this up front? How does this work? Use the incline marker kit I've placed in your pockets to set aside some land for our incline project. I can only build one at a time. Got it. They're also ready to help residents move their homes. Something they could do even if I'm still repaying my loan. Nice. What about you, Isabel? What do you have to say today? There are island tunes, an island flag, I can discuss residents. What is my island tune? Oh my god. I can make a new island tune. I knew my music theory would come in handy. Okay, I've come up with something, and I think it's pretty great here. Yep, there we go. There we go, that's gonna be my island tune. Uh, full disclosure, I found this on a YouTube video called 15 Legend of Zelda Town Tunes Animal Crossing by Legend of Ali, who has 289 subs, and it's them playing on the 3DS. This video was uploaded in 2015, and it's got a consistent amount of views. However, over the last day, their views have spiked from daily 2 per hour to 125 per hour. And I'm sure me including them in the description of this video is going to make that even better. I doubt in 2015, this person said, you know what? The next Animal Crossing game is going to utilize this same feature. Yep. 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 I love that. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's making me so happy. And now we can change the island flag. Our flag is a physical embodiment of everything plays represents to folks on the island. It's proudly displayed in front of the resident services and outside the airport. I'll admit the design is a little dated. Do you happen to have anything else in mind? Oh, and I can just choose anything from here. All right, so I wanted to make the Bowser flag, and then I realized that there's pretty much no one who's ever made pixel art of it. And if they did, it's not good pixel art. So instead, I'm just gonna make basically like a template that I'm gonna be able to import on the AC Designs website, and I'm gonna share the QR code with you guys. I do want it to be a black flag with a white face though, and we'll do that. Great, let's save that as a file. And we go to acpatterns.com slash editor, let's convert a file. Convert, great. And there we go, that is the QR code if anyone wants to uh, use it. Well great, that doesn't look too horrible, right? Uh, I wish it was more pixelated. I'm gonna work on this, okay? But we need to go lay down this incline marker ticket, and I know exactly where I want it to go, right here. Let me imagine it. I love it. Love it. Okay, make it a thing. Oh, what are you? I'm getting a call. Hello, Austin, Tom Nook here. Did I find a good spot? I sure did. Are you gonna tell me what this cork colored fire hydrant is doing here? Lloyd will stay and collect donations for construction fees. Hello, Lloyd. Right now I'm taking donations for a stone staircase. Okay, maybe another time. Let's check the beach real quick. Ooh. Star fragments? How many are we gonna get today? I did, like, 200 wishes. Am I gonna get two? I don't think I'm getting 200 fragments. Every time I see a big shadow now, I'm just like, no, it's a sea bass. But it is raining, and there is a raining fish that we need to go get. Are you one of my residents? Oh my god, I played the song! <laughs> I played the song! <laughs> I just didn't recognize you in the raincoat. Come to think of it, I don't remember what you wear every day. Okay, so for all those wishes, I got nine star fragments. That might be the cap. I'm probably going to need to cross-reference this with doing it another time and also doing an exuberant amount of wishes. Oh, and our cherry tree came in. Nice, we're gonna be able to, uh, to grow more cherry trees now. Awesome. We have no flowers that have crossbred yet. Right now, I'm just starting this day off by doing a quick run around to see, oh, there's a money spot up there, to see if there's anything special going on as far as, like, villagers visiting me or anything. 
Speaking of the money spot, I have seen some people say that you can plant 99,000 bells and you will get, you know, 297,000 bells back. And then I've also seen people plant 99,000 bells and just get the 10,000 bells. So I don't know the rate or the chance of you getting, you know, your full money back or anything else like that. I'm gonna have to do some more research on that. All right, it doesn't look like we have any visiting villagers today. So I am going to start my daily errands. Before I do my morning errands, I... Oh, Isabella is watering and smelling her flowers. That's nice. I want to see, because it said that new items were available here. What is a bell voucher? So 500 miles converts to 300 bells. Neat. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's even more items. It, my inventory gets bigger. For only 8,000 bells. Immediately buying this. Oh my god. We're now up to four rows. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. A variety of wells in here, some shopping stalls, uh, what looks like Stonehenge. Wow, that is a glorious fountain. An outdoor bath, a grain silo, and a robot hero. I've, I've seen some things online about robot hero. It requires a lot of gold and a lot of resources. Street lamps, those are very pretty. A monster statue. A pool. I wish I had like, some idea the size of these things. But I do want to buy some fencing. Okay, off to foraging with my much larger inventory size now. Also, how much do you want to buy this bucket for? 2,220 bells. That's not bad. Okay, in the middle of foraging, I saw Paula and she was like, hey, do you want to play a treasure hunting game? And I said, okay. And apparently I have three minutes to go find where she buried some treasure. I assume it would be marked with like, you know, the regular black X on the floor. It's pretty neat though, that in the middle of me doing chores, one of my villagers was like, let's play a game. Okay. Oh, I think we found it. It was right out in the open. Boom. Drum roll please, it's a floor seat. What is a floor seat? Oh, it's a seat on the floor. And we are back. So, it happened again. I got four in a row, then I was on the phone with my friend, and then I missed the fifth one, so... Another day of Austin with his eye being stung. As I was running on the beach and collecting stuff, there were more star fragments showing up, and then also an Ares fragment, which is pretty neat. The star one needs a large star fragment. So it turns out that the Ares fragment that I gathered is a special craftable thing having to do with Celeste, who tells us about the different, um, constellations. And then something about Zodiac furniture. I don't know, it sounds like I'm trying to unlock things in Final Fantasy. But we have access to the bamboo wand, which I think does the same thing and allows me to change my outfit, which sounds pretty neat. So the bamboo wand, to that in my understanding, allows me to register outfits and then swap between them easily. So that's neat, and another item in my inventory forever. Golly, I have so many oranges. I'm gonna have to visit someone soon and sell off all my oranges on their island. I have so many oranges. So there is one thing that I would like to do on this rainy day. Just one thing. And right now it is 3.27 p.m. And I only have maybe till 5 o'clock the latest to do this. And I am going to get myself a coelacanth. Pretty sure I said it right that time. There were so many comments in the last video about how to pronounce it. So, for the love of the almighty and powerful flying spaghetti monster, I really hope that I said it right. My time in fishing hasn't been great, and I think I have finally figured out the reason why. So, I basically use OBS, open broadcasting software, to, to capture all my video. And then I also have the sound coming out there and everything else. And there is a five to seven frame delay between me doing something and it happening. Now that I have the 4K one, it's a little less bad, but I've optimized it a little bit, and I've locked it at 30 FPS, so there's less lag. I mean, it doesn't make sense in a game for more than 30 FPS to, you know, try to capture it in 60. But most importantly is now I'm going to have a slightly faster reaction, supposedly. 
because I'm going to be able to see it and hear it a few frames earlier. And it's another star piece. Manila is my favorite flavor of clam. Is it your favorite fav flavor of clam? Golly. Oh, wow, it's another star piece. There's just a lot today. I also know that it is the last month for a while that I can get myself a blue marlin. And I would really like to get myself a blue marlin. It's only available on the pier. It's available all day. That does not look like a blue marlin. At the same time, there's actually a number of size 6 fish that I need. That looks like a size 6 fish. That might be a 5. It might just be a sea bass. Or an olive flounder. Could be an olive flounder too. It was a size 4. That's like a size 3. There's a number of fish I need to get from the ocean. A size 2 barrel fish. I believe that's what it's called. Sorry, barrel eye. A size 6 blue marlin. Coelacanth. I think that might be it. All of them are a size 6, except for the barrel eye, who is a size 2. I'm pretty sure this is a size 1 right now in the ocean. So it's probably a sea butterfly. Yep. Oh, that looks like a big boy. That's a 5, though. That's, an, that's no 6. I stand corrected. That was a six. <laughs> and there's the blue marlin. Oh boy. That did not take long at all. I've been doing this for four minutes. Boom. It's that frame delay. The frame delay made a huge difference. Ah. Oh, she's beautiful. Or he. I don't know how to tell the gender differences. Hey, Goose, do you like my... Oh, no. Okay. Go away. Oh. Hey there, friend. Oh! What? What? <laughs> it's the oarfish! Look at that big boy! This was less than two minutes after the blue marlin. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. How- how- what? This, this is a pool fish, isn't it? Yep, it's a pool fish. Oh my god. What about the marlin? Is he a pool fish? No. Boring. I don't know what is going on with the ocean today. Is it because of the rain? Is the rain affecting encounters or something? Ooh! An anchovy. I needed to donate that. And for some reason they were so hard for me to catch. I just hooked a six. Nice. Nice. Uh, <laughs> my second oarfish. Well, unfortunately, we did not get a coelacanth, but we got two oarfish and a marlin. The blue marlin is going to be available in March as well as April here in the Northern Hemisphere. The oarfish is going to be around until May, so I didn't really quote-unquote need either of them. It's really nice to get the blue marlin since it is a pier spawn, so I don't need to be at the pier anymore. Know what I mean? Oh my god, there's bells, because it's 4 o'clock. Now the resident services has, has bells in it to let me know when the hour changes. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I literally just stopped recording, and because I, I was running around still more. It was like, I don't know, 20 minutes since the last good catch. I'm just running around on the beach. I never go to the right side because I've never caught anything good on the right side. And you know, I'm a little superstitious. And then I look at that and I'm like, that's not a six. That's a five. Has to be a bass. Has to be. And then I felt super delayed on the A. And I was like, no way, it's gonna be a bass. And the next thing I know, boom. Blast from the past. I caught a coelacanth. Oh my god. It was a wind flute. Every room and every person has like a different like iteration of the 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 theme. Oh man. Wait, 
when you when you donate the anchovies, does it make like a hundred of them? Oh. There's our blue marlin. Hey, buddy. We already knew about tuna. Tuna seems to be a really big fan of anchovy. Yeah, look at these boys. Okay. This is dope. This area is so peaceful. Silicant. Okay, I'm officially going with silicant. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why this makes me so happy. So happy. <sighs> you know, I thought the aquarium would be like, whatever BS, but like coming here and seeing your achievements and seeing them swim around and live life. It makes me so happy, so much happier than like Pokemon in a box. Know what I mean? I was also reading up as far as the villagers who can come and buy bugs and fish from you. The chance of it happening is very random, and some people have said that they've played like three in-game weeks with date skipping and even uh, reviewers of the game. They were like, oh yeah, they only showed up once and the fish guy, not at all. Also at the bottom left in that slightly off yellow is your current inventory size. I never realized I was there. We've reached our goal. Next step, project completion. Great work, buddy. Yay. All right, we reached our donation goal. Is this gonna be a tomorrow thing? We met our donation goal and construction should be done by tomorrow. Let's talk after that. Let's talk to Tom and see what else I can do, quote unquote, to think that we started with a deserted island and have grown to a bustling community. I want to do something grand to celebrate. I have big plans. Tell me more. Got your attention, huh? Our goal is to have the incredibly popular musician KK Slider come and put on a show here on the island. I call it Project K. This plan of mine is divided into three main stages. First, we need more visitors to come to our island. Next, we need more folks to move here. And finally, we work hard to increase the overall image of the island. We'll increase the number of tourists by adding a campsite to our island. The campsite will make it easier for visitors to experience life here. And it'll make for great PR material too. With that in mind, do you think I could get out my phone? I'm gonna have to construct something, aren't I? Yep, recipe for a campsite construction kit. Pick a great spot on the island for our new campsite. I'm counting on you. And also, let's pay off our loan. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan. I'd be more than happy to extend your further credit. For one and a quarter million bells. Yeah, let's go for it. He doesn't charge interest or anything, so tomorrow we start construction. The question is, can I make a million bells in a day without cheating, of course? Well, now we're on 111. There is no cheating, right? Right. For the screenshot, for the thumbnail, look at it. Ah! It's beautiful. It's glorious. We finished all of our fish. Ugh, some fantastic things, guys. Anyways, again, I want to thank everyone's support on this series. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. I'm having so much fun. I don't remember the, I don't remember the last time I was able to just, like, play a game and hang out. And you guys helped me with it. Because normally it's like I'm discovering things and I know a lot about the series, but now it's like the opposite, and I really enjoy it. Anyways, guys, till next time. Austin John out.